much, much more and practicing them hand separately. Because actually in the repertoire, I don't know whether you recognize that, but that was the first movement of Beethoven's sonata in E major, opus 14, number one. In the repertoire, we often get scales played by one hand rather than by two hands. Here's another example. Kabalevsky, Etude in A minor from his children's pieces. So scales appear very, very frequently in the repertoire, but they appear hand separately. It's not that they never appear hands together because there are examples, but they're much more likely to appear one hand or another. So you have to ask, why do we spend so much time and put so much emphasis on practicing scales hands together? Yes, I completely agree, hands together practice on scales is important. However, it is equally important, I think, to practice hands separately. And here's why. So first of all, if you're practicing hands separately, then you are, have the opportunity to really listen for the evenness of a hand, you know. What about my left hand? Because of course, here's another benefit. It means that the hands get equal attention. And of course, if as soon as you put the hands together, one hand will tend to lead and it will tend to be the stronger hand and it will cover up the, the deficiency of the weaker hand. As an examiner, the number of times you're in an exam room with the old syllabus, anyhow, where you used to, everything was hands together, um, and but always you would ask for a hand separately scale. And invariably, there would be a struggle when you ask for a left hand scale by itself. And that's because the left hand isn't holding its own. It's not independent enough. So take a scale like B flat major. Wow, that is really difficult for the left hand. for the older player actually continues to be difficult just because the coordination between the hands is so very different. But practice them hands separately and you have a real opportunity to learn the pattern and get that pattern fully automated before you even try it hands together. So I'm just going to go back to that word automated because in the three stages of learning, we go from the cognitive stage, that's the first stage where you really have to think about it. You ideally say it out loud, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Yeah. And then gradually, the more times you repeat that, it doesn't take too long, but gradually that becomes an association of three, four, three, What's happening in your brain is that the more times you do that, the more times that the same um, neurons are fired off and therefore the pathway through the brain with that fingering for that scale, just that specific scale, becomes strengthened. And the more times you do it on that associative pathway, always associating the three and the four on the B flat and then the E flat the stronger and the broader that pathway becomes. So if finally you reach the final stage, which is automation, which means that I don't have to think about that fingering for that scale, and I can talk to you at the same time without even looking at my fingers. That is fully automated. I have to be able to do that with that hand. I also have to be able to do it with this hand as well, which fortunately I can because I don't know how many times, thousands of times, I've played that scale with my hands separately. And then, then I can put it hands together. But that's a completely new process, putting it hands together, because I've then got to learn that dance. And actually, how many times am I going to use B flat major hands together in the repertoire? sometimes so yes it's important but first and foremost Im is important i believe is playing it hand separately for those reasons i've stated it means that each hand has to take equal responsibility you can really listen to the evenness of the sound and to be honest that's partly what scales are about isn't it the getting the sound out of the piano the evenness of the sound and the third thing and really most important thing is that it gives you the chance to fully automate the fingering for each hand before you then learn a completely new dance where you put your hands together. So 
playing scales hands separately really important and of course you know you have to applaud ABRSM because now in the new syllabus that's exactly what they have tried to do that B flat major for example comes in hands separately at grade three hands together at grade four and I think that specification like that is a really good thing so embrace hands separately a little bit more in your teaching I hope that helps bye bye for now